sports, weather information I can use, music, smiles, service and dues, contests, companionship, intriguing interviews, the JBC ingredients. They still are, as a matter of fact. On your full-service radio station, 14 to 9, we had, uh, here was a service I didn't really intend to provide. Uh, I was in Los Angeles in 87. Carol and I went out to, to L.A. We were visiting Molly. who was in college at USC out there. And we're staying, Carol and I are staying in Santa Monica at the uh, Sheridan Miramar. And um, they, they had a, a, an earthquake the night before in the Los Angeles area. It wasn't a big one, but it was big enough to make the, uh, the news the following morning. So Ken Behrens, who's back here in Studio A doing the morning show, and Steve Vogel, who's doing the news, and, uh, and Art was also in here. Art was sort of a reluctant participant, I think. They decided to call me in the, uh, uh, as, as the quake expert, as our quake expert out in Los Angeles. They figure I'm out there. What the heck? They gave me a call. It was right after the 6.30 news in the morning here. But, of course, it was a couple hours earlier than that out in uh, Los Angeles. Get a chance or not. <laughs> You're taking a chance or not. It's not 4.30 out you... there. It's uh, about 20 to 5 now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not only your job, but your life. It's better now. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Could you ring uh, Don Munson's room for me, please? Munson? Yes, Don Munson. Well, I was just sleeping good when they did this, too. I think I'll leave. No, you just stay right there, will you? I've got to go to the Soy Corn Conference. <laughs> Maybe we ought to be in delay. Well, I still can. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Yeah. Uh, Don? Yeah. Uh, this is Ken Barron's calling. Yeah. Good morning. We're on the air, so be careful. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing that for? Well, we heard about this earthquake in California. And we know that you're from the flatlands of Illinois, where uh, you don't, you're not used to that kind of thing. We just wanted to check and make sure you were okay. You know, I, I didn't even notice the thing. What, what time did that happen last night? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My mind was racing, trying to wake up. I was really groggy, boy. Don, did we wake you up, or were you up anyway? No, no, I, I had to get up anyway to answer the telephone. <laughs> I mean, it was it was dark in that motel room out there. I was trying to grope around and get a hold of a clock to figure out what time it really was. Well, I'll, I'll remember this. I'll, I'll put it down. Oh, Don? You want me to run outside and check for damage or anything? <laughs> hey, Don? Yeah? What time is it out there? Well, let's see. <laughs> let's face it, it's dark in this bedroom right here. <laughs> uh, is your wife with you? Yeah. How, how's she enjoying? <laughs> I'm just glad you were in your room. Uh, if uh, Carol needed any reminder that she'd married in a big time showbiz, she got it, boy, that morning. But uh, we got Ken back later in that year. Ken's out in New York City, leading a Great Escape group. He must have had eighty or hundred people with on a JBC Great Escape. They're in New York. It's the last morning of the Great Escape. And uh, they're, so they're going to fly back to Bloomington that day. And Alan and I decided to call uh, Ken, knowing how, you know, I mean, you know how tight Ken is. That's not an act, folks. He is that tight. And we decided we'd call him and try to convince him that the group couldn't leave the hotel unless Ken paid up a bunch of charges that the group had racked up. We decided that Alan would be the hotel controller calling from, uh, you know, downstairs there in the hotel. And then we just sort of winged it from there. Let's see if I can get a phone line. What is it? I've got the phone number here. The Sheridan Center Hotel is at, uh, what is it, 52nd Street and uh, I think 7th Avenue. Give me a piece of paper there. I should really know where I'm calling. The Sheridan Center? Sheridan Center Hotel. Oh, okay. You're, you're the controller for the Sheridan. You're going to be female or a male controller? I think it'd be easier if I did a, a female voice, actually. Gee. He probably wouldn't recognize it as well. Is this tacky or what? It's eight minutes after seven. Are we live or are we in delay? We're live? <laughs> <laughs> Talk about risky. Help you. I'd like to speak with uh, Ken Behrens, please. B-E-H-R-E-N-S. Happy to connect you, sir. Have a good day. Thank you. We'll see about that. <clears throat> Hello? Hey, Mr. Behrens? Yes? Uh, Mr. Behrens, this is Mrs. Greeley in the Comptroller's office of the hotel. Right. Mr. Behrens, we have a problem uh, with, with some of the bills. I know your group is checking out today. You're with the WJBC group, is that right. correct? From Bloomington, Indiana? Uh, Bloomington, Illinois. Illinois, I see. We, uh, I'm sorry, we have a, a problem. A couple of your people have checked out and have uh, s run up quite sizable bills for, uh, for extra services, Mr. Behrens. And, and as you know, with a large group, we're just not able to, uh, to charge them to the individual, so we will need just one bill for those people. And we need to put it on a credit card, uh, and we need the group leader's credit card. So if I could please have your group, uh, your credit card number. Well, and I don't I have a credit card, but I'll tell you what, we will make an announcement on the... Uh 
on the bus before we pull out to get people to straighten out before we leave. Well, no, uh, we, we can't let you, uh, we can't let the bus leave, Mr. Barons. We'll, we'll have to have you guarantee it either by check or by credit card before you leave. Um, let me work on that, okay? <laughs> mm. Oh, we'll need that right away, Mr. Barons. Um, <laughs> The pause reminded me of Jack Benny's pause when the stick-up man demanded your money or your life. <laughs> he was thinking, he was thinking.